So if you were alive 200 years ago and you wanted to get somewhere, the chances are you were probably going to be walking. And your wood shops might have looked something like this. And your tools might have looked like this. Now since then we've progressed a very, very long way. We have table saws, chop boxes, drill presses, and a gambit of other powered tools, either by battery or by electrical outlet. And that's great. It makes our jobs easier. It makes it go faster, we're more proficient. We can get jobs done quicker, which in this day and age, if you wanna make money at this, that's important. And in the last few years, another technology has exploded on the DIY scene that you know makers, woodworkers, fabricators, we're all using CNC's now by the hundreds. Now, I know some people are gonna say, that's not woodworking. Well, I can tell you, my great grandfather said table saws weren't really woodworking. So it's really a matter of perception. CNC machines make the job faster, they make it easier, and they make it more accurate. The popularity is growing so fast, the technology is getting cheaper and cheaper, it won't be long before 90% of woodworkers, makers, and crafters will have them sitting in their shops. <laughs> So today's video is about CNC machines. More precisely, it's about one CNC machine. It's a desktop CNC machine called the ShapeOco 3 from Carbide 3D. Now they sent it to me about, I don't know, six months ago and because my schedule is crazy, I haven't gotten to it. But I did get a chance to work with some of it. I put the Z axis together and took a really good hard look at the engineering, the mechanical side of this. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty impressive. It's a lot better than some other of the desktop CNC's I've looked at over the past few years. Now, I'm not a tech guy. I don't know IT, I don't know sensors, I don't know switches, I don't understand most of that. So I thought what would be really cool was I would do some of the mechanical side and then I would send it on to a friend of mine who is an IT guy. His name is Jim Bashirs, and he spent 30 years in the industry in switches, sensors, and all kinds of really cool stuff. So he has a much better understanding about what's going on with the electrical side of the CNC machine. So Jim did a really great video about the CNC machine. Now Jim's starting a YouTube channel with over 30 years of experience in the IT world. He's gonna have a lot to offer this community, not only in the IT stuff, but also in woodworking. That's his plan. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with it. He's done an amazing job of putting this video together. And I would definitely encourage you to go check it out. Here's a little glimpse of what Jim's done. After you get the springs on, mount it to the x-axis rail and tighten with the lower rail nuts. So here's the first thing I cut out with the CNC. It's a driveway workshop sign, which is the name of my YouTube channel. I'm cutting it onto an off-cut from a deck board scrap left over from our front porch build last fall. So if you have interest in CNC technology or would like a desktop CNC, I would highly encourage you to go check out the Shape Oco 3. They also have a couple other Shape Ocos. They have the XL and the XXL for larger form application. So go ahead and check it out if you're interested. And if you'd like to, go check out Jim's video. He did a great job. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll talk to you soon. Every CNC project I've seen on YouTube has some kind of a christening video that shows the owner running a stock G-code file to draw something on paper, officially starting up their machine. In this case, I'm using the Shape Oco logo. It printed out great and I can't wait to learn the technology and start building with it. This is a really solid machine that's easy to build. Carbide 3D has a real winner on their hands.